Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the 20th year celebration for Boys and Girls Club of Cullen County. Our theme for this year is Going for the Goal Academic Success. At this time, the program will begin. Again, thank you for coming and we welcome you. We will start the program with a parade of the, the different careers and our children will parade. At this time, we're ready to begin. You all give them a hand and they parade. These are our future leaders. And you, as you can see, we have all the different career choices. We have doctors, lawyers, teachers. We may even have a senator, representative. We have some scientists. I would just like to say to the community, the success of the Boys and Girls Club is a community effort, and we truly appreciate you all's support. You know, it's not a one-person thing. It takes us all to do what we need to do for these children, and I thank you all for being a part of that because I feel like you all can see the bigger picture. You know, Boys and Girls Club. We, do, we try to do our part. I know we have churches that's doing your part. And with all of us doing our part, I believe we're going to make a difference. Thank you. Okay. At this time, we're going to ask Ms. Kara Mosley to come up and do the introduction of our MC for the evening. Good evening. My name is Karen Mosley and I work with Regions Bank both here in Collins and as well as in Mount Olive and I have the distinct honor of introducing our Master of Ceremonies this afternoon. So if you will, give me a few moments to share about him. Carlos D. Smith, a native of Collins, Mississippi, specifically Covington County, is the only child of Ella Faye Smith and the third grandchild of the late Willie Wilson and Pearlene Pearl Smith. Carlos, a 2001 honor graduate of Collins High School, is a 2005 magnum cum laude graduate of Tougaloo College, earning the bachelor's in English, a 2008 and 2011 graduate of Mississippi College, earning the Master's in English Education and the Specialist in Educational Leadership. Having completed all coursework and in the final stages of his dissertation, Carlos is scheduled to defend in June 2017, thereby completing the doctorate in education with an emphasis in curriculum and instruction. Carlos, a former K-12 administrator, currently serves as the Dean of Student Success at Tougaloo College. Additionally, he holds faculty status as an Assistant Professor of English and Education and serves as the College's Accreditation Officer and Director of Institutional Effectiveness and Research. Carlos serves as a consultant to many organizations in the areas of logistics, effectiveness, and curriculum development. In addition to his work at Tougaloo College, Carlos serves as the managing director, excuse me here a second, managing director of West Haven Memorial Funeral Home Incorporated in McGee, Mississippi. Carlos is active in many civic, professional, and ecclesiastical organizations, 
Recently, Carlos was ex elected to serve as president of the Tougaloo College National Alumni Association and appointed as the executive director for the Southern Region of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Carlos, the 2001-2002 Boys and Girls Club of America State Youth of the Year for Mississippi serves in leadership for Mount Nabo Baptist Church in Jackson, Mississippi in the areas of music and education. Please join me in welcoming Carlos D. Smith. Who flies the kite? I fly the kite, says the boy. It's my greatest joy. Who flies the kite? I fly the kite, says the stream. It's my thing. Who flies the kite? I fly the kite, says the wind. I do it at every whim. All of them wrong, all of them right. One thing for sure, it takes all of them to fly the kite. Good evening. Good evening. We are so excited to be back at home uh, here at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, the first time I remember this, along with, with Melody and others, uh, this is a state of Burger Dinner. Y'all have come a long way from steak and burger to steak and steak. Give yourselves a round of applause. And also, it's awesome that we're able to host this right here in Collins because the first time we should go to Hattiesburg. Uh, and, and so it's good when we see growth. Growth means life. Growth means that you will survive. So it's always wonderful to see growth. Let me also acknowledge, um, of course, my Lord and Savior, for without Him, I would not be successful. He has ordained my success, and therefore I know I will win, no matter what may come against me. And then I want to acknowledge the remaining earthly partner in the dynamic duo who raised me, my mother, Miss Ella Faye Smith. I appreciate her for being here. And I never fail to call out the one who watches over me spiritually since 2014, my grandmother, Miss Perling Pearl Smith. Without these two people and God in the midst, I would not be where I am today. It's just good to see so many wonderful faces in this place. Faces that are looking better with age. <laughs> It's good to know that in Covenant County, time has stood still. So I will come back to college so I won't grow old anymore. <laughs> At this time, we'll kick our program off and I'll be coming back and forth encouraging you to do several things. And the first thing I want to encourage you to do is to have fun, number one. To enjoy yourself and to make sure that you leave this event happy. Because as the people say, I am proud as a peacock and happy as a hyena to be in. And then I want to make sure you understand that, listen, this is a fundraiser. So it's not only if you in fun and just a jovial spirit of that, but it's also funds. Okay? So because of that, I want to make sure that you visit this silent auction behind me. Okay? Go ahead and put your name down and pick up one of these wonderful items. And then we have some other opportunities for you to also contribute uh, a little bit later. At this time, I invite Pastor Roger Cozy of the Whole Wealth MB Church to come and to the invitation, followed by Miss Vicki Moody, who will sing the national anthem of the Cozy. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this organization, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord God, we thank you for the leaders and the volunteers and the staff of this organization, Lord. Lord, continue to be with each youth, dear Father. Please let them continue to learn of you and your holy word, dear Heavenly Father, and grow in you and your holy grace, dear Heavenly Father. Take care and protect them all through their future, dear Lord God. Please, dear Heavenly Father, each one of us be dedicated to you and your holy service. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last 
gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Recognition, so we're going to just recognize any elected officials. 
Well, we're going to let the officials present. Please stand and be recognized. Give them a round of applause. Awesome. Now the time has come that we've all come here for this Okay. Uh, and so, what we failed to do uh, uh, is to bless the food. So, uh, I'm a school teacher by trade. And so, uh, you just call out people's names. If you have people in the room that they happen to know, and you get make eye contact with them, or if you don't make eye contact with them, they call out your name. And so, um, the person whose name I want to call out to bless the food is Elder Cleo Booth. So come on up. That's you, Mother Boo. Just bless the food. All right. Father Lord Jesus, we say thank you today, Lord. We ask you to bless this food. Take out any impurity. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. See that? There's a method to my man. wonderful to be here with you all. Um, it is a great honor and privilege to my mom, my dad, all of the village people uh, that helped, helped raise me when I was growing up. It's so great to see you and it's good to see you even in this light, even 20 years, 20 years later. Uh, my dad was asking, he said, so, so how long is your speech? I said, well, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too long. He said, well, a good rule of thumb is you put a mint in your mouth, and by the time the mint melts, you sit down. <laughs> I didn't put the mint in because I thought it might fall out. So uh, it is, like I said, it is with, with great humility and a deep sense of appreciation that I stand here uh, before you today. First and foremost, I would like to thank the uh, Boys and Girls Club Executive Board for even thinking of me when you were trying to decide on, on a speaker, uh, to know that I was a choice, I was even in the running, that within itself is, is remarkable. I also have to acknowledge what I think, who I think is the hardest working executive director ever. Uh, how, how do I know? Well, she's someone I look forward to speaking to every single week. Um, and when we do, I, I have to always be prepared um, and, and keep in mind the amount of time that she is going to spend on the phone talking about the Boys and Girls Club. So uh, she is, I think she eats, lives, and breathes the Boys and Girls Club. People say we look alike um, and often offend me and compliment her by telling her that we look like sisters. <laughs> and I would say, no sir, no madam, that's my mother. So to the executive director, thank you. Thank you all for having me. Well, it has been 20 years, uh, Boys and Girls Club. It's been 20 years. And you know, when you're young, you never think you're going to be old enough to remember something from 20 years ago. And that's when it happens and it dawns on you that no matter what you think, you are really getting older. So 20 years ago, tonight I'm, I'm going to tell you my story. Um, I was here 20 years ago. 20 years ago, um, I was 17 years old. It was 1997, and you know, I was, I was the type kid, um, thought they were grown, thought they knew everything, and actually knew nothing at all. And I'm sure you, you don't deal with any of those type 
kids. I'm, I know you don't know any kids like that, but but that was that was me. And I still remember like it was yesterday. I remember sitting in church while some short guy came and talked about this this new community organization that had moved to to Covington County. It was the Boys and Girls Club, this so-called positive place for kids. And to be quite honest, I thought to myself, he is not talking to me. He's not talking to me. Um, it was a place for kids. I was 17 years old. I'm cool. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I don't need this Boys and Girls Club. This is obviously something for, for younger kids. Um, and I was sitting there completely ignoring everything this man had had to say. And somehow, after service, the one person he singled out was me. And he introduced himself, he introduced himself as uh, Mr. Kelvin Magruder. I'm sure we all, all remember Mr. Kelvin. Uh, and, you know, he was asking what I thought about what he said and, and if I would be interested in, in coming to the club. I had, no, I had no answer because I didn't listen to what he was saying because he wasn't talking to me. So that day, Mr. Magruder, he coerced me to come and check out the club. And since I was so much older, um, he said maybe I could help assist with some of the younger kids. And it was as if he said to me, oh, come taste and see. And I took the bait. And from the very first time I stepped foot into the club, and help those little kids play basketball games, I fell in love with the Boys and Girls Club of Covington County. The Boys and Girls Club became a home away from home. Anyone who knows me knows that I was an only child. And even though I had friends, I had cousins, the Boys and Girls Club was different. And it was, like I said, it was another family um, that I grew to love. It was the positive place that helped plant and cultivate my love for helping others. I didn't even know I would like helping anyone play basketball or that I would like being there every single day. Um, but I did. And it was not even something that happened because I wanted it to, but it was truly just the place to be. It's where I learned about community service, it's where I, I learned the spirit of, of giving back and also paying it forward. And the Boys and Girls Club is what planted the seed to the career I now, um, I've now been in since gradu graduating college. So now every day I spend my days working with students, working with parents who are preparing to leave high school and, and I even work with some adults um, who are still looking to find themselves they're excited to move on, but they're afraid of the unknown. They're willing to dream, but not always willing to awake from the dream and take the appropriate steps to achieving that dream. There's an author by the name of um, Rick Warren. He's, he's a pastor. And he says of 10 people dreaming, only one, only one will make the decision to go from a dream to making it a reality. So nothing will ever come of a dream until you wake up and, and you put it into action. And I know we've all heard it said before, if you want to walk on water, you have to get out of the boat. So don't ever, ever find yourself believing the myth that success is somehow based on where you're from or that it's somehow based on your socioeconomic status, that it's, that it's based on the color of your skin, that it's based on what side of the tracks you came from, if you had a single parent home, if you had two parents in your home. None of that, none of that ever, ever matters. Um, I'm, I'm often in arenas where inadvertently someone, someone will always ask where I'm from. And when I say I am from a place called Collins, Mississippi, 
The next statement of shock and utter surprise is, wow, you don't sound like you're from Mississippi. And my question back is usually, and what exactly is someone from Mississippi supposed to sound like? Because guess what, here's the deal. I may be from Collins, Mississippi, okay? I may have even been raised in the country. I may have, even with my cousins, picked cucumbers and peas and corn and tomatoes during the summers. I may come from a place where it's not you all, but simply y'all. I may be a first generation college student with a grandmother that dips snuff that she simply referred to not as two rows, but T row. But with the help of my parents, with the help of my village people, with the help of the Boys and Girls Club, and everyone that invested their time and their talent um, into me, I believed what the author Zig Zagler is quoted as saying. And any teens, any young adults, any, any college students um, that are here tonight, you should believe the same thing. He has a quote that says, you were designed for accomplishment. You were engineered for success. You were endowed with the seeds of greatness. And that's what it's all about in, in accomplishing your goals and reaching for the stars. There is nothing you can't do. So, I think this is short enough for my dad. So from the very first Youth of the Year of the Boys and Girls Club of Covington County, Collins High Class of 1999, thank you for truly being the positive place for kids. Thank you. But you can do better than that. Give this question some love. <laughs> we thank her for those words, which speaks to the credibility of what is going on in Covenant County. So any time that we may find ourselves becoming tired or becoming somewhat weary of all the effort, think about what you're doing, the investments that you are making. Another round of applause for Ms. Preston. At this time, we'll invite Ms. Katrina Hawthorne to come and offer us entertainment, followed by special recognition by Mr. Doug McLeod. Ms. Hawthorne. Give a round of applause, she comes. I believe that children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children laugh. Remind us how we used to be. Everybody searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. I never found anyone who could feel my needs. A lonely place to be. So I learned to depend on me. Yeah. 
says Love around It's happening to me And I get the uh, the honor of uh, giving a couple of our giving a couple of prizes to uh, to our guests tonight, and they luckily they put one of them in a clear bag, so I won't screw it up. <clears throat> Mrs. Preston, uh, we re whoops, we really appreciate you coming, and uh, we just uh, Collins Boys and Girls Club, the board of directors, really uh, we want to say thank you for coming and for sharing your story with us, and thank you very much. I don't know what you'd have done with that purse if I'd have given it to you. So, but anyway, Mr. Smith, thank you so much for coming back to us with us, and uh, and I know you're returning home, and uh, we do appreciate everything you've done for us too. Thank you. Thank you. I don't take it. My mama right there. She just took it. Uh, she just she got that purse now. It got used. I promise you that now. Thank you so much. At this time, we invite Judge Bobby Wayne Mooney and Mrs. Hope McGee Jones to come and to give us the side of the auction results, followed by Mrs. Carolyn Fountain, who will award the door prizes. Give them around. They're coming to give out some stuff, y'all. First of all, I'd like to say it's an honor to be up here with a girl of the class of 1984, Hope McGee. Look, I'll also have to say, Hope, I saw the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders and all that, and I'll still have to say that you're in the top two best-looking cheerleaders I've ever seen. <laughs> Now, I'm a pretty smart guy, but over here is right there with you. That's right, that's right. And okay, this, and the, oh, I said in the top two, but uh, the last thing I want to say, standing back there at the door back there, if you and Vicky were cheering back in the day with that curly hair and long legs, you didn't know one of you from the other. <laughs> But I tell you, I've known this girl all my life, and I just love her to death. So it's an honor to be on the stage up here with her. Now, I'm going to let her take over. She's always been good at taking over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to say it's a blessing and a pleasure to be here tonight in front of all these beautiful people doing a beautiful uh, mission that is training our children in the way that should, they should go. So when they're, they're old, they won't depart from it. So we just want to give you all a hand. So we're going to do what we got up here to do, which is to give away our silent auction items. And we want to thank everyone that gave these items for us tonight, and we appreciate them. Give them a hand. First, we have item number 11, and Bobby Wayne went to college, so he can count up to... <laughs> He, even though he was in the back of the class, and he keeps reminding me how old we are, because it's 1984. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Item number 11. That's that's the uh, Yeti stainless steel tumbler, sponsored by Doug McLeod, and it goes to Obi Rogers. <laughs> and then we have item number 13 is the NAPA Napa five piece wine set sponsor Brandy's Barking Box and that goes to Tony Gray Pedicure Medicare System, sponsored by MC Beauty Supply, and that goes to Mrs. Lisa Balthazar. Yay! Next item, we have Duralast Rolling Work Seat, 
sponsored by AutoZone, and it goes to Mrs. Helen Malloy. <laughs> You'll find something to do with it. <laughs> the steel knife leather carry pouch. Steel knife leather carry pouch. Sponsored by QC Supply. That goes to Mr. Bill Odom. Next item we have Cobalt, sponsored by Seminary BGC, and this item goes to Mr. O.B. Rogers. <laughs> Gonna fix something, don't know what it is. And we have another Cobalt, sponsored by Mount Olive BGC. And it goes to Mr. Doug McLeod, looks like. Mc, McLeod. Okay. Next item, we have a large Mississippi Magnolia t-shirt. Sponsored the Rose Salon and Monogram Shop. Goes to Jane Collins. And that is a Jane. There she is. Next item, oh by the way, tighten up. <laughs> Class of 1984. <laughs> we have a Havilon, Havilon Knives, sponsor the Rec Outdoors. Mr. Michael McGee, Reverend Michael McGee. <laughs> Class of 1983. <laughs> we have now a wall clock sponsored by Shirley's goes to Mrs. Barbara Gray. Next item, a gift basket. Sponsor Avon Rep Representative Miss Bonnie Carter, and the, it goes to looks like Cami Fairly, Cami Connie Connie Fairly. <laughs> I went to Collins High School, but anyway, the greatest school of all. Okay, we have an item, Seth McGinn's can cooker. Can cooker. Something I wouldn't know too much about. Um, sponsored by QC Supply. And it goes to Mrs. Carol Hall. Another 1984. And we have a, another cobalt. Sponsored Carver BGC. And it goes to Mrs. Helen Malloy. I think he's getting a little windy. <laughs> we have a bird cage. Sponsored Don's Farm Store. Goes to Vicky Mooney. Next, we have another cobalt sponsor, Hopewell BGC, and it goes to Joanne Todd. And the next item, limited edition serrated edge knife from sponsor Covington Auto Parts, uh, goes to Reverend Michael McGee. He's excited about an edge knife. 
Mad is <laughs> Next item is Outdoor Man's three-piece set. Sponsor Covington Auto Parts, Mr. Jerry Walker. And the last item, Glow Works in the Dark, Wind Charm. Sponsored by Clayton Drugs, Miss Rosetta Pickering. Thank you all so much for all that you do. We appreciate you participating in our silent auction. To all our winners, thank you very much. Good night. Before we're over starts, I just want to say hello everybody. Everybody happy? We're all happy. I'm going to ask our hostesses to come and help us with the door prizes. And Obi's going to announce. <laughs> So, oh, they need, they need to plan the number on the Okay, go to the back of your program, and there's a number written on the program information section. At least that's what I was told. I don't have one. Where's your... So, is there just... Does somebody have a program that on this page right here there's a number written on it? Okay. There you go. So five, if you got that number, you need to pay attention. I have a number. A number. Everybody doesn't have a number. So who has number six? Cornelius McClard has number six. Give him something that smells good as he gives his daughter. There you go. Thank you. That's your, that's your prize right there. Number 14. Oh, there you go, Mr. Weary. Give him something that smells sweet. It's a pedicure is what it is. There you go. The next number would be, oh, I'm going to hurry this up, number 27. 27, 27, come on. Nobody? Nobody has 27. Okay, we're the next one. Number 15. There you go. Number three. Oh! Number three, the other lady right there. Number 19. 19. You got it? Come on. Okay. Number 26. Yes, ma'am. Yours says 19? Yeah. We're going to give you one too, Gladys. Give that something. She's always wanted something all her life. Give her something. Give her something. Hadn't she, Gloria? She's always wanted to be special, ain't she? Okay. Number 26. Number 26. Okay. Number 8. Number 8. There you go. Lady in the red. Pretty red. Lady in the red dress. Now who has number 1? There you go. Lady in the back. If you could just get with a lady in the red dress, you'd have red hair, red dress, red hair. Be <laughs> Number seven. Number seven. There you go. Number 28. I feel like I'm playing bingo. Lady in the blue. Oh, now it's getting big. It's getting real. We're doing ferns now. We got one more. Number two. 
the lady in the white. Now you, the lady in the red, the lady in the blue, and the lady in the white, y'all get together and let's sing. Please, the three of you sing together. As long as it's patriotic. Okay, so we'll see. Number 11. Come get your fern, buddy. Are there two 11s? Do you have an 11 too, young lady? No, no, you're helping us. So, one of these boys, take, take, do you have an 11 too? Y'all want to arm wrestle for it? In meeting the center, there's an empty table right there. We have two firms too, so both of you can get a firm. Perfect. We have to take two firms. These strong men right here. Number 10. Are they going to arm wrestle? Watch, watch. Oh, they shook hands. <laughs> Dang, that wasn't fun at all. Number 10. Oh, young lady. Don't kill the fur. Number 22. Oh, Miss Alice. Now water it once a week, okay? Once a week. Did somebody take Miss Alice first? Number 17. Number 17. Anybody going once? Number 17. You're missing out on your firm. And my joke about you. Number 5. Oh, come on, young man. You look young, but my sight's bad. <laughs> We have one more. Well, number 27, they want you again for some reason. Are you 27 back there? Or are you just waving at somebody? Hey! hey. She's back there on the wall on the white. She's wanting to wave. Hey! 27, did you get a gift? Raise both hands if you got a gift. Take the woman a fern. We'll take the woman a fern. Thank y'all very much. And while I'm here, I'm going to ask all my hostesses, young ladies, and, and the men for right now. Uh, our hostess coordinator in the back, Ruby has some, something special for you all. So you just stop by. She's standing back there. Hostesses and hostess coordinators. If you stop, she'll give you something special. Okay. Thank you all. We're going to go back up because apparently... Uh, Melanie, 20 years working on my eyes, and I forgot something on the program. Um, I forgot to call, and I thought I did, the Collins Unit uh, to come and to deliver the Boys and Girls Club mission statement and point. And we don't want to put, so I thought they did. The poor. The, okay. I knew this young man right here. I like his bow tie. I remember him.
acknowledge another special uh, person, Miss Gloria Fairley. Will you please stand? All right, y'all look at Miss Gloria Fairley real good. So all you folk who bid on something, pay her your money, okay? We want to collect that money. Miss Gloria, I hope you saw all that stuff win, okay? We want to make sure we get it. All right, uh, we're at the end of our program, and um, I'm going to do something here. Uh, because that's what happens when you give some people the microphone. Uh, they start taking liberties. And so I'm going to take a liberty. Uh, several years ago, um, I think it was probably 2012, on the occasion of my grandmother's 75th birthday, uh, while she was alive, uh, I, along with my mother and her siblings, my aunts and uncles, we established a scholarship, the Perling Harrington Smith Scholarship, uh, which has become the Memorial Scholarship, uh, at my church, Mount Zanor. I, I, I saw a graduate senior who also established a $500 scholarship for them. Thank you all so much. We're, we're very happy. Make sure that the people of the year uh, automatic with criteria once they're selected, uh, they're best scholarship, and they put the young lady in the sophomore at high school. And so uh, that will sit and ready for her when she graduates. And then uh, when you all identify a young person uh, who's graduating with the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, and I wouldn't have probably never done I was a happy only child to uh, be baby by my grandmother. Didn't feel like I needed to go anywhere. Uh, and so they told her on one day, let this boy go down to the Boys and Girls Club. And so I went and never left, seemingly. Uh, and we also heard by a good friend and board member at the time, Ms. Betty Cruz, the way dad. We appreciate her efforts as well. Thank you, Collins. Uh, we're always here. Thank you, Ms. Gray. Thank you, Ms. Weird, for uh, inviting me down. I look forward to working with you soon. With that, we invite Ms. Barbara Gray, who we want to go home with you and Tony. Uh, we saw the nice grass in the town, guys. So, the party at the great house, we see. <laughs> I won't say the name of the air grade, but the, you know, it's the million, it's the million, it's the million. Let us pray for it together. I listen, I'm going to write the party. I can start singing it now. We can, we can have some music right here. <laughs> so, we invite the bottom ready to cover off our closing remarks. This is great. Give a round of applause and sit down. Good Lord, I can say, Amen. you all, I do thank God for my mother had, Mr. Gray, and those glasses. By the way, I don't want to hear a thing from you nor Obi, okay? We get ready to let you all go, but I just want to thank my heart. I'm just so happy, elated, because our young people, our young members, Boys and Girls Club of Covington County members, Miss Melanie Preston, and then she did a beautiful job. She did a wonderful job. And the keynote speaker, that was a good That was a good one. And this, our MC for tonight, Mr. Carlos D. Smith. Let's give him a round of applause. And for them to, have, to come back and be a part of this 20th year celebration, we are happy to help you to be a part of it. I also want to ask the, if there's anyone here that were the very first board members, I want you to stand. I see our very first secretary for the Boys and Girls Club of Directors, Miss Elaine Barnes is in the house. Okay. And there's no Mr. Van Collins in the back. Miss Cooley. These were our First board members, Mr. Keys didn't stand up, but he was one also, one of the founders along with myself. Any other founders place in the place? If not, we're going to ask the present board members to stand. All of the place, the present board members. That, yes, give it to them. Celebrate you all coming out tonight and for all that you do. We're going to ask the elected officials one more time to stand because I do celebrate you all tonight. You all support us in a great way. Thank you so much. I'm going to ask all of the pastors 
and their wives and they're with you to stand. All of the men of the club, please stand. All of the elders in the house, please stand. We appreciate that you were to you all tonight because you all can go back and tell the congregation we need to support the Lord's and Girls Club more. So we thank you. Also, we had a first lady that was in the house that she is a pastor's wife, who is a dear friend of mine. She came to be with me all the way from Starkville, Mississippi. That's not other than Dr. Bridget Player. We would ask her to stand. <laughs> I stood along with her and I stayed. Function. Thank you for being here with us. Um, and again, we thank God for our executive director, Ms. Katie Weary. Please stand and just wave at everyone. She worked so hard, you all. Worked so hard. And we appreciate that. I want all of the staff for the Boys and Girls Club of Covington County, the new uh, youth directors, the unit directors, all of the staff to stand. Let's celebrate our hard work and staff with the Boys and Girls Club. We appreciate you all. And none of our children, let's give them a hearty ovation on them. These are what we work so hard for. We work so hard for our children that go to our clubs. Um, if you will look on your program, I'll be very back of the program. The leader that you see all of the committees. I won't name them all, but I want all of the committee people to stand. Everyone that was on the committee for the second state banquet, please stand. Whatever you need to serve, please stand. All right. They worked so hard. Um, and did you all enjoy the service? The food, the fellowship was wonderful. And thank you again for taking part in our salad auction. And we want to recognize our chairperson for this year, 2017, and then Ms. Karen Mosley. She was our chairperson, please stand. She was our chairperson for this year, look at that. So it was beautiful. And I, I hope I'm not missing anyone because it takes all of us to make this event happen because it takes care of our summer program which will begin June 1st. So we have young people we're ready to work, to work with and you know what I thank God for? We pray before our children will start that the Lord cover them even for the summer event. So we want to give God a hand clap of praise for this event on tonight. All right. With that being said, look at the person next to you and say God's feet. Good night, everyone.